always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point makes a world of difference. Oh, you make me strong. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I hope you guys are all doing well. With it officially being autumn now, and I mean official, because as soon as it is it the 22nd of September, as soon as it hits that day, I'm like, right. No one can complain anymore about autumn being here too early in the shops because it's officially autumn. So I thought it was a good time to pick up the camera today. I am going to do some autumn decor DIY projects. I thought I could share with you some thrifting, maybe get a little bit creative in today's video. So yeah, I thought I would bring you guys along with me for the day. And if you haven't already, of course, like always, the obligatory Make sure you pause this video and go grab yourself a cuppa if you haven't already. I'm sipping on this um, filter coffee in this sweater weather mug that I made. It's um, the autumn blend one from Starbucks. And anyway, before we get going with today's vlog, I did want to firstly thank today's video sponsor, Moneybox. If you've not come across it before, Moneybox is an award-winning savings and investment app that you can download to help you achieve your financial goals from savings and investing to buying your first home, um, planning a retirement you can look forward to, an all-in-one space with a range of tools and educational content. That honestly, I'm glad to have even just started thinking about my future, figuring out what it is that I want for like a retirement fund because even just that first step of downloading the app has really helped relieve some of my anxiety should we say especially in today's climate with the current like cost of living crisis and all these financial pressures I feel like being self-employed one thing at the back of my mind has always been setting myself up with a pension pot and just educating myself about it all really. The first thing I actually did was start by tracking down old workplaces whereby you can see how much you've already saved. Now I can see how much I've already saved for my retirement. Together with their Moneybox Pension Calculator, I can start planning ahead and figuring out how much I would need to save for my ideal retirement fund. So this in itself has definitely helped me feel more in control and just feel more positive about my pension in general. Because at the end of the day, who doesn't want an early retirement? and a retirement you can look forward to as well. <laughs> so with Moneybox you can work towards a retirement full of adventure and simply by starting to take control now. It doesn't even need to cost you a penny at this stage, even just by educating yourself, it's already one less stress in my mind, know exactly where I stand with my future pension pot. So if you can resonate with that, I will leave a link to Moneybox down below in the description box along with a QR code on screen which you can scan to download and essentially find out more. So without further ado, I feel like it's time to get into today's vlog. I feel like I need to finish some of this coffee before I do anything else. And um, yeah, I think we'll start by heading to, there's an antique shop actually that I want to go to called the Vintage Emporium, along with maybe a couple of charity shops, get a bit thrifty in today's video. And, um, and then obviously share with you guys later on some autumn DIYs, hopefully with some bits that I find at those stores. Let's sip up and get going. Hey, I've been dreaming about you. Every night I see your clearest day. It's just something about the way you make me feel. Cause I can't concentrate anytime you're beside. I've been thinking about you and all the words that I'm gonna say the next time that I see a pretty face cause I can concentrate anytime you're beside Welcome to Starbucks, what can I get you? 
Hi, can I please get a um the egg sous vide things? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Oh, I need the egg bites. Yeah. Yeah, and the nuts. Um, yeah. Have you got the um pumpkin spice loaf cake? Yeah. You could get a decaf pumpkin spice latte. Decaf pumpkin spice latte. Do you want cream on it? Um, yes please. Yeah, anything else? That's it, thank you. We'll see you at the window. Thanks. Woohoo! Love it when you've got a free drink on the app. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. Right, let's park up. I think I've realised with this car, which I'm still getting used to. There's nowhere really on the dashboard to put you without the wheel being like very much in the way. You can sit next to me. <laughs> That's no good really. Okay so the Vintage Emporium was a, a success in one sense. Not so much in the autumn. I mean they've got loads of amazing bits. Real like vintage antique kind of finds. Their book selection just not cheap however i did have a good rummage and literally on route out um i spotted a like a rustic workbench which i thought would work perfectly in our like as a console kind of table a bit of a lower console table but one under the stairs in the basement and then we could potentially use it in future um upstairs so i purchased that they're going to deliver it hopefully within the next couple of days so once that's in situ in its place it might have to be in a future vlog that i'll share with you but i'll maybe do like a bit of a, a decorate the console table a styling the console table um within a vlog or something but i yeah so that was good mm. hot um, I decided to grab a Starbucks for a bit of a lunch pit stop before going to a couple of charity shops. Um, not loads, just for, a, you know, for a browse and see again, like, if I can find some books. I've got a DIY in mind that I want to do with um, some books, but they don't have to be, like, antique looking. They can just be, I just basically, the cheaper the better with this one. Um, so, I'm going to have my eyes peeled for them. I've, if you've ever tried these egg sous vide bites they're honestly delicious i like to get something savory like this they're only small there's two um and then i've got the pumpkin uh loaf to try as well so this starbucks that i've come to there's actually a home bargains across the road so that was my intended purpose was to come to this one because i need to stock up on poo bags which is fun i have seen that they've got this gorgeous sherpa pumpkin i have zero hopes that this one will have it. i feel like you've got to go to good home bargains to get any of the good stuff if you just go to like smaller local home bargains they're just never as good are they so i'm gonna pop over there i'll see if they've got that sherpa pumpkin or any other autumn new and bits that i can vlog for you but otherwise i'm thinking hmm why would I put it in my mouth when I'm just about to talk? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm thinking a couple of charity shops, head back home and make a start on these DIYs. But in the meantime, I'm very much going to enjoy this lunch. Always said we were the good ones mm -hmm. Like an 18 minute thriller movie mm -hmm. I always knew you always meant it But now we're standing on the best side too Ovens have opened which isn't ideal although it is meant to get a bit sunnier afterwards which is when I'm going to do my DIY 
spray painting in the garden because I like to, if I'm painting anything, it's got to be in the garden. To be honest with you, the poo bags that I usually get home bargains, I've not seen them in there a while, for a while, so maybe they don't do them anymore. But it was pretty successful home bargains, I'm not going to lie. I didn't find the Sherpa pumpkin, but I did get a few like essential bits which um, are a bit seasonal, so I'll show you them when I get home as well. I honestly feel like I just need to blast the heating. I feel like it's although it's officially autumn it's definitely like transitional isn't it because some days i feel quite warm and other days i'm like shivering cozy socks blanket on oh in fact i had loads of amazon bits as well delivered over the last couple of days which i might as well share with you seeing as though sharing is caring on this channel we all like to shop together so yeah let's let's get back home let's have one more swig of psl and let's get going come on then <laughs> look at this monster of a treat that i picked him up once i get on with some diys i thought you could have one of these now a massive pork roll <gasps> barney what's this speak When I sit down and show you stuff on the floor, like in vlogs, honestly, my knees. That makes me sound very old. <laughs> I just, I'm constantly shifting and like, although I do quite like sitting on the floor, it does get quite uncomfortable. But anyway, I need to just shut my mouth now before I make myself sound any older than I am. In fact, let me go grab, there's one other thing which Wilco sent me. They sent me wait till you see it okay who remembers me talking about getting above the dog wash station some kind of like aperture frame mentioned the white company one also mentioned the fact that wilco's do a dupe so i got it which is so exciting so it was downstairs just let me get to my breath makes me sound even older and um, they're four by four inch photo kind of sections and I thought I could do some black and white ones of like me, Tom and Barney, put it above the dog wash station in the utility room. Cause I did think about artwork, but then I thought, no, I want something a bit more personal. I hope someone out there can relate to me when if you find a new collection, you can't help but buy the entire collection. <laughs> so I got, I knew that she brought out Mrs. Hinch a new scent with um, home bargains. Oh, in fact, it's not just home bargains, it's, it's like, Procter and Gamble. This scent, Frosted Eucalyptus, sounds right at my street. So I love anything kind of pine scented or that eucalyptus, like fresh greenery. And this, I haven't actually smelled it yet. So let me give a little first impression on camera. Oh God, that's a bit strong. <laughs> okay, that's, oh God, how do you, you know, when you're smelling it, it smells like you're breathing in cold air. <laughs> so fresh i got two of these fabric conditioners to be honest with you i go through these so quickly i feel like they say 33 washes i'm pretty sure i mean i do go to the max level every time i pour fabric conditioner in but i'm pretty sure they don't last 33 washes per thing um in wash scent boosters as well i get through these pretty quickly so um i've changed up the packaging cardboard packaging it's only the scent boosters and the fabric conditioner that says frosted eucalyptus the rest of them oh no this one does too the flash sparkling home spray spray white pinched um but these two actually say frosted pine and eucalyptus so i don't know if they're any different or not but i just got one of these um toilet like bathroom air fresheners Mm, smells the same to me um and then one of the room sprays so not only did i go a bit overboard with the mrs hinch collection i then saw that stacy solomon <laughs> has got a range with um the airwick scents like home scented items there were loads more but i just picked up the reed diffuser lasts up to four weeks in winter walks with notes of fresh pine so again very me and then this plug-in as well they had some refills this actual plug-in is um like a stone beige color i don't think i've ever seen 
one that colour before. They're usually white, aren't they? And then I noticed Sephora have bought out the wipes that they do in a couple of the winter scents that they have. The Winter Morning and Winter Spice. So I had to pick up both of those. And then also got another top up to Flora as well. A couple of bits for the DIY things that I have in mind, which I'm gonna do with you in just a second. This um, natural cinnamon sticks, this was like a pound something. And then a pillar candle and this stamp set. Oh, and then last but not least, I forgot I got this. The Essentials, Better Home and Garden. So they've got these wax melts. They had two different scents. They had lemongrass and ginger, and then lime and eucalyptus. Again, that eucalyptus scent, I thought it would work quite nicely with the um, home cleaning products that I've got. And yeah, it's just a tub of wax melts. They actually smell so good. It has just stopped raining, so I'm gonna take my opportunity, get out now, in case it comes back. I have this wreath which I bought from Amazon. It was about £15 and then I also have this Rust-Oleum stone spray paint which gives a really nice texture. I also have this pumpkin from Hobbycraft. It's a £6 ceramic pumpkin which I'm going to spray with that Rust-Oleum as well. Then I gathered some leaves from the garden again which I sprayed up. I did go in with a second coat of a chalk paint which I didn't get on camera because I realised the Rust-Oleum stone paint gave a great texture but it didn't give that much coverage in terms of the opacity of the color so just bear that in mind I had another chalk white rust-oleum spray paint as well okay welcome to my little DIY shop <laughs> I have just kind of brought up and laid out everything that I thought um, would be worthy of showing you this first wreath I have to share with you I've mentioned this before actually on this channel but I just love it so much that I thought why not show it again? Because it could be like a fun kind of DIY project if you're this crafty. I'm personally not. This was um, from a, an individual independent seller. Got this in a small businesses gift guide for Christmas one year. So I will try and leave this linked below. But essentially, if you're Harry Potter fans, you're going to love this. This is the entirety of chapter 13 of Prisoner of Azkaban, which is even titled here on the top. Can you see chapter 13? What's it called? Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw. We are gonna rewatch all the Harry Potters because Tom's only seen them once when we had COVID one year at Christmas. And I was like, look, if there's any time to sit and watch back to back Harry Potters for the first time for you, it's now whilst we just were lying horizontal doing nothing. That was a couple of years ago now. But um, yeah, this year for in January, it's like my birthday, my mum's birthday, my brother's girlfriend's birthday around that time as well. So we're thinking about doing a trip to, not thinking about it, it's booked. We're doing a trip to the Harry Potter studio tour in Watford with uh, my brother as well and Tom's coming, my mum and dad. So that should be fun. I think Harry Potter is a very seasonal, very autumn, winter. I just watch them every year. So I feel like that is why I particularly love that and wanted to mention that wreath. I haven't had my pumpkin spice loaf yeah i'm gonna sit, set that to one side have that with a coffee after i've done all of this um i've got a couple of books which i got from charity shop i got these all from cancer research they were a pound each and i got them because they are similar sizes and varying colors so you'll see what i'll do with those in a second i've got a little photo frame this is from m s six pounds i found this in poundland it's a blank canvas scroll type thing I thought we could do some kind of a DIY maybe with this stencil kit that I got from Car... No, not Car Factory. The Works. What else? I also got these from The Works. Just these little mini pegs. The stamp set and the cinnamon sticks and the candle from Home Bargains that you've just seen. I will say I did pick up some cinnamon sticks from the supermarket for this DIY that I've got in mind. And these are way cheaper. So I wish I'd have seen these ones first. And then also some twine. Some napkin rings some black card and some linen napkins and this which i mentioned i've showed you guys this uh, garland before it's from cherries comes like this but i thought i would just show this as an idea that again if you're a bit crafty you could do like diy little mini felt pumpkins and just get some jute twine like this and this is literally all it's on perfect but I thought I could add to that with um, a couple of bits but anyway before I show you 
the things that I've got in mind. I did think, let me get this Wilco's thing, this Wilco's photo frame out. Just looking at it there popped up and I thought I could do something with this. If I switch this lining, the thing that says Wilco's there, back to front, hopefully it's white on the back. And I thought four, no, five four letter words to do with autumn and this season and I could use those stamps or do I do the stencils let's see how this goes no what <laughs> I've just dropped the stamp, so it's ruined it. Oh. You know what, I'm just gonna carry on as if that never happened. Oh, cute. Right, what else? Cozy. Let's see, in case you didn't know how to spell cozy. I feel like I need to just set this to one side to dry before putting it back in its frame. So I'll show you that in a sec. So my cinnamon stick project that I've got in mind is very simple. And a lot of these things that I've seen are just from Pinterest. In fact, I think everything is. Get your candle, some twine and the cinnamon sticks. Wrap some cinnamon sticks around it with the jute twine. of the vibe that we're going with i guess you could add like a little bow on there as well some or like just snip off that excess this is my little cinnamon stick candle another thing i've spotted with napkins this is definitely something that would be great if you were hosting and doing a dinner party or something whereby you could get your linen napkin and get your napkin ring actually you just poke some of the napkin through um, some of the napkin, yeah, some of the napkin through the napkin ring and then turn it round the other way and then kind of tuck in the napkin into this part so that it's designed to look a little pumpkin-like. So let's see how this looks. like kind of the bulk of the napkin in the napkin ring. And then if you've got um, any excess cinnamon sticks to be able to just pop it through the middle and it sit like that. How nice would that be on a tablescape? So I've just, just popped outside and the leaves have already dried. The pumpkin is almost dry as is the wreath. Couple of ideas. Firstly, this uh, photo frame. I thought again a nice and simple kind of little artwork fall inspired or autumn inspired because we're not American. This piece of paper that was the M&S ad to just flip it round and pop it back in so that you'll just see white. But within that piece of paper to pop um, a leaf, I'm just gonna trim this stem. I'm just gonna place it like that and then pop it back in the frame. It's like a bit of a 3D type print. Well, it's not a print, obviously, it's a real object, but yeah, like so. So, so simple, I think, but so effective. You could go for something more like this kind of a shape where it's like a perfect leaf, or well, it's obviously a bit a bit distressed but yeah something like that that was just a little bit too big for this frame we have the cherries garland here and again i thought we could add some leaves to this so i've got these this what i've got these little mini pegs for but i saw on in, not instagram pinterest um the person do it with dolly pegs which obviously we've got some of those downstairs i just think with leaves they're quite delicate aren't they so to have smaller little mini pegs i thought would work better and also i quite like the idea of layering them up whether it be something like this whereby you've got white and green and you can just pin them or peg them i should say 
to the jute. Or another idea that I thought about doing was to actually take a section from one of these old books and cut out a leaf shape and layer it up with that. So it would sit like that. And obviously the, the more time that you've got, the more leaves that you can add and forage outside um, and do a bit of a mixture maybe. You've got these larger ones as well that you could again put some like paper text with. I've just realized though, the text that I've selected is maybe a little inappropriate from this book. It's not horrendous, it's just the words that I can see sparks of electricity a lump grows in my throat fingers on her cheek skin is hot licked it i taste salt <laughs> she moans <laughs> so just just select your page carefully because maybe the eagle-eyed person might notice that yeah the text that you've selected is a little inappropriate <laughs> we'll just ignore it for now then i'm just going to get these books and share with you my ideas for what i was thinking with these in terms of diy so i think two of the three books i think three are not numbers good find one like that's quite a good first page quite find a good front page the memory word or oh, let's see if there's another one uh, oh, that could be good. Part one, sudden or suspicious. That could be a good top page. Or that one, even better. Just plain and simple, part one. Just like so. So you're left with a white binder. Obviously take off the back cover as well. if I can take it to part one here we go part one so that's going to be my top book if I do the same for these ones Then you just want to grab some twine, wrap it round a few times, and then you can either just leave it like that, which I quite like, or you can get stamps and do a little three word message that's autumn inspired. Is, let's face it my fave right I'm gonna pop that frame back on now because I feel like this is dry even when I do get some photos done for this to just have this in the background so that every time um, autumn comes around I can get this out and it'll be um, It'll be like the decor that I can use time and time again. Now with the black card, this is definitely more of like a Halloween-y inspired thing that I've seen, which basically I'll put some images on Pinterest of what I've seen as inspo, but essentially you can just do it using black card um, and basically create a bat shape in lots of different sizes, fold them and stick them to the wall for a Halloween de decoration that's quite minimal. simple little bat again if you fold them when you cut it for one it makes it perfectly symmetrical but for two you can just pop a little double-sided tape or command strip or whatever you want to do to attach them to the wall even blue tack it allows it to be more of like a 3d from the wall and then with this scroll i think what i'm going to do is use that stencil book and a sharpie pen just to get it accurate and then do a little halloween uh, not halloween 
like autumn message. Just to finish it off, I've got these two leaves here, which I'm just gonna get a bit of sticky tape and just um, kind of fold it back on itself so that you can't see the tape. And it's basically double-sided tape then. Pop that there. Or do I do it that way? I prefer the kind of color to that one. There we have it, my little hello autumn sign. What do we think? It definitely looks more like my white company dried linium wreath. However, yeah, that green is definitely, I feel more spring. Whereas these tones here are far warmer and f far more my style at least anyway. This is just with one coat. I feel like if you were to go in with the second coat of the Rust-Oleum stone paint, you'd get even more of that texture coming through. But I quite like it just with the one personally. So it's a little more um, understated. And then I'm really loving those books. I'm actually quite glad I did the pumpkin spice latte sign on it just to make it all the more kind of seasonally appropriate and then um we've got our little bat over there my wreath candle really like that as well yeah i feel like it's all to come together quite nicely so let me know which is your favorite of all of these i will show you this as well actually this was also from that vintage emporium but from another day, in fact it was a long time ago that I bought this, but I've already used this within my Decorate for Awesome With Me video, it's this book. This is exactly how it came, I didn't distress it, I didn't do anything to it. It's the perfect autumn colour already and the kind of binder being exposed like this, I just love that rustic feel to it. I think that was about £2. I could always tea stain the cover or something, coffee stain the cover to make it more rustic, but that is just perfect for me. So I just left that as it is. I feel like I'm going to have my pumpkin spice loaf now with a coffee, get cosy, get comfy, and then share with you all of the Amazon bits. Look at the amount of grease on this. Oh, and that's about to go in my belly. When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we three ginger one i've got the three cinnamon tea as well from pucker and it's delicious thought i would just have a little nibble i might only have half of this because it's not long before tom will get home and then we can have our dinner and i'm thinking craving a cheese toasty with some soup just something nice and light and simple so i thought i would just have this snack now my pumpkin spice loaf mm. it's not um overwhelmingly pumpkin it reminds me a little bit of like a carrot cake without the carrot bits or the raisins or anything and I feel like this in a muffin form with cream cheese of some kind would be delicious so I thought I would share with you a couple of Amazon bits that I've bought recently um first thing is very appropriate for today although the rain is stopping i think we're going to go for a nice sunset walk before dinner when tom gets back these are going to come in very handy these are actually for tom i picked us both up a pair of wellies these ones are the helton boots from lakeland lakeland active they were really reasonable actually and they feel very heavy duty there. so i had last year some hunter wellies well, in fact, I've had them for a few years, but they're like a slim fit and they're always quite tight on my calves. And when you're walking and it's getting warm and it swells, honestly, the effort I have to go through to get them off, it's just not worth it. 
So, as well as these for Tom, I picked myself up some new hunters, but the smaller version. I've never had the smaller version before, and I would have gone for a bigger one. However, I do feel like because I've got my Dewberry boots, which are high, they're like to the knee, and they're waterproof, they're really good for like in the the wet and the mud, then I thought, I'm going to go with a short version. So yeah, I really like these. I get them in a size up. I think I go for a seven in these. I always think it's best to just size up in wellies. So, well, I'm like a six and a half, so it's only by half a size. But yeah, just plain and simple black matte. My other ones were shiny black as well, which I quite like the fact that these are matte. So that's that. And then I did just stock up on a couple of staples. I really enjoyed using the shampoo and conditioner from Aesop. So I decided to pick up another, another set because I've literally just run out. I was going to do the whole refill trick and um and i probably still will do but maybe pop these ones in my bathroom nice and fresh and use the refill ones pop them in a spare bathroom because no one ever if anyone stays usually like people are staying just for like one night or something where they don't wash their hair and if they do they maybe brought their own stuff if not they can use whatever but i quite like having them out on display so yeah they'll go in a spare bathroom and i've just got these ones for myself as a replacement and then i got two books of which I'm sure you can all guess what this first one will be. The brand new The White Company book. This is called The Art of Living with White, A Year of Inspiration. So if you've not owned the first book, it's kind of divided into three different styles that, that they base their kind of shop around and their brand on, whereby you've got town, country, and coast. And let me brighten you up. I feel like it's a bit dark. I feel like my style is very much in between town and country, whereas I think Tom is probably in between town and coast, maybe? I don't know if he's as much country as I am, but I do love a good country purchase, hence why I picked him up some wellies. He's never had wellies, so for as long as I've known him, he just has like Adidas walking shoes and other boots, like posh boots, and I'm like, you need wellies. like wellies when you put on wellington boots and you're in the downpour you feel like you can conquer the world quite frankly so yeah i picked up some wellies anyway i digress the first book was based on town country coast this one is seasonal which is such a good concept so you've got the divide between spring summer autumn and winter of course i've had a flick through this already and flicked straight to the back i mean Need I say more? In fact, there was one image that I saw that I, I thought I'm gonna have to show you that. Here we go, oh, it's right at the back. <gasps> oh my goodness, love it. So if you are interested, this one is a bit more expensive. The other one is 30 pounds from the White Company. This one retails for 35. However, on Amazon, you can always get them cheaper. So the original one is I think 20 pounds or just under. And then I got this one on Amazon for £30, so I did save a fiver. And if you have the other one, like me, without the cover on, rather than with the sleeve or the jacket, whatever this is called. So yeah, it is very similar to the other one, and it stacks really nice. It works really well with the other one. They've used the same font, the same material, everything. So yeah, it's a good one to have, especially if you already have the first one. And then this book as well I picked up. It's called Curate by Linda Gardner and Ali Heath. And it's an inspiration for an individual home. So this, again, the photography within this book is so inspiring to me. That's why I love a good coffee table book that is interiors themed because it just motivates me and inspires me to really curate my decor my home decor and i don't know it's just sometimes you end up holding on to stuff because there's nothing necessarily wrong with it or you know you bought it in the past and you liked it when you bought it but then i find if you just a bit a bit of a marie kondo method whereby in the wardrobe apply it to the home whereby if you look at something and think mm, i don't love it then get rid donate it give it to a friend and family member and replace it with 
something that you really do something that really sparks joy so when i go through books like this or have a good pinterest session i just think right that's it i'm decluttering i'm curating everything down to exactly what it is that i like and that's the way it's gonna be so i can't wait when, for when the renovation's done to be able to do all of that and all that decorating you know like styling bookshelves and console tables and everything like that within the ground floor i have had an update from the vintage emporium where i've bought that table that kind of rustic workbench that i'm going to style up as a console table and i think it's not going to be until it's not going to be for another few days because the person that's delivering it their van's in the workshop and needing repairs so we actually can't get it to me until at least a few days which is fine i actually can't wait to show it to you i think you're going to love it it's really rustic like really rustic which i love so anyway that is everything that i've picked picked up from amazon lately that i thought i would share with you just a reminder as well i do have an amazon storefront that i link in my description box whereby anything that i mention i'll upload or i'll add links to to items pretty much everything that i've mentioned is on my storefront though so yeah if there's anything that you see um it should all be on there Starting from scratch, brick by brick. So I've just got out of the shower, nice and freshly hair washed, feeling good. I think I've come to realise that I love my evenings and my wind down time so much that I end up having like really early evenings. I love. Um, nothing more, although it's not that early tonight, sometimes I'm really early, whereby I love nothing more than just getting back from our evening walk, feeding the dog, shower, skincare, pyjamas on, and just really switching off. I think working from home, it's quite hard to find the balance between home life and work life, and I find myself sometimes doing a lot of work or all working all hours of the day and night and then I find it really hard to switch off because I all I feel like guilty if I'm switching off or you know like if I just put the tv on and put my feet feet up when I've got stuff to be doing I think that's not just a, this industry job that's just self-employed people in general who who work from home that I feel like yeah, finding that balance is hard. So for me, one of the things I love nothing more is to have an early evening, get comfy, get cosy. We had a lamb roast yesterday. So the excess parsnips and carrots, he blended up so that we've got homemade carrot and parsnip soup. So we're going to have that with a nice cheese toastie. And let me tell you the trick to a good cheese toastie is buttering the outside of the bread and i have got that toasty maker from cherries actually so i might use that sometimes i use a frying pan and sort of like make the toasty within the frying pan that way and then like press it down but if you have a toasty maker then it kind of does the pressing down part for you so yeah oh, i can't wait we're all tired after our evening stroll a bit red faced still because it was like really cold on my cheeks which was quite nice actually I'm trying to let my hair air dry as well i've just washed it when it is an early evening and i'm not going straight to bed because i can't go to bed on wet hair i just hate that i find something good to watch on tv as well what did we watch yesterday oh sins of our mother have you seen it on netflix it's like a crime docu-series type thing um really good and then we start frozen planet 2 as well we've got one more episode to watch no
We are just chilling on the sofa. <laughs> Hi. We're just watching Bake Off. We had a lovely, lovely dinner. How wholesome is that? A cheese toast day. Delish. Um, oh, Barney. Barney wants the belly roll. That is going to go ahead and conclude to today's vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Just a reminder again, I'll leave the QR code on screen and the link in the description box to Moneybox. Thank you to them for working with me on today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you have. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye, guys.